So you want to create photoreal mountains for Blender or Unreal and you don't want to spend hours or days working on that, then I think this is exactly the video you've been looking for. Now there are multiple ways to do that, but if you want to do it quick and dirty and, well, for free, I think this is the best way to do it. It doesn't work on all projects, but in most cases it gives me the results I want. And I want my mountains to look as photoreal as possible. And that's the fun part, because we are going to use a texture and then just project it onto a mesh. Let's do this. Go to Pexels or Unsplash.com and look for images of mountains or landscapes. If you want your life to be easy, set the orientation to landscape. Look for mountains that are not lit by direct sunlight so you can relight them in Unreal or Blender. With that in mind, you can actually use images like this or this as long as the lighting in your scene roughly matches the lighting of your image. Once you've found an image you like, download it in the highest resolution possible. Now comes the 3D part. I'm going to use Blender, which is free, but this is going to work in almost any other 3D software as well. Go to your preferences, search for the ANT landscape add-on and activate it. Hit Shift A and add a landscape. That looks pretty bad. Open the drop-down menu under Operate Presets, select Mountains 1. Play around with the random seed until you get a shape that roughly matches the one from your image. Increase the resolution. 500 by 500 is a great starting point, but that might be limited by your graphics card. Go to Side View and tap into Edit Mode. Now hit Alt and Z to look through your mesh and select the vertices on the bottom. Hit X and delete them. Now you have this. Still looks like garbage. Go to your material settings and make a new one. Set the specular to zero and give it an image texture as a base color. Select your texture and hit OK. Open the UV editing workspace and load in your image. Transform your mesh until it roughly matches the shape of your mountain and apply the scale. Tap into edit mode, select all faces and hit U, project from view. Move the UVs around until they line up more or less correctly. Now it's also a good idea to turn on viewport shading so you can actually see what you're doing. That looks pretty nice, but be aware that it only works from certain angles. If you want to, you can experiment with different unwrapping methods like hue projection. This usually looks better from different angles, but might give you weird artifacts. I recommend sticking to the first method and trying out different projection angles. If you work in Blender, you are done now. But if you work in Unreal, do this. Go to File, Export and select FBX. Under Path Mode, select Copy and activate the little checkbox. This way, your texture is going to be saved within the FBX file and Unreal automatically makes a material for you. Import the mesh into Unreal and open the material. I didn't want my mountain to look like plastic, so I hold down 1 and left click and set the specular level to 0. A common mistake people make when importing mountains is not paying enough attention to scale. Mountains are huge, and if you fail to set your scale correctly, it's going to mess up your whole scene. A little trick that I use to set my scale correctly is to paint in some trees on my mountains using the foliage tool. If that doesn't work, simply set the collision of your mesh to default. When the trees look like this, scale up your mountain. When in doubt, make it bigger. Duplicate your mesh and decorate your scene as you like. A useful trick to make it blend better into your environment is to paint in a little forest at the bottom of your mountain. And that's it! Now remember to try out different angles and different textures on different meshes to really get the most out of this method. If you liked that video, great, because you might also like this one.